Hello and welcome back to Teen Center in a Box, week three. Today we should have our box and a cork board. So let's get started and look at that. So I'm going to first open my box. Inside of it, we should have a couple papers. So we should have some transparent paper with cactus on it. I already used mine, so mine's a little ripped. We should have instructions for our Spotify keychain. These cactuses that go with our transparent paper, that's for our cork board. And then we should also have instructions for our DIY string art, which is for our cactuses too. So inside the box, our items containing to our Spotify keychain should be in a baggie. So we should have tape. So there's tape in here. I'll pull it out. So we have tape right here. We have a sorry. We have a paintbrush. That's for our Mod Podge. Here's our paintbrush. And then we should have a cup of Mod Podge. And we should have a white acrylic marker. And we should have two pieces of acrylic. So one big one and one small one. And then for our, oh, and then along with that, we should have our Spotify codes and then this little guy, and then our album art cover should also be in another baggie. And then for our cork board, for our cork board, we should have our string in a bag, our pins, and then that's it. All right. So now that we got everything out of our box, I'm gonna put our box away. And let's go over our Spotify playlist or our Spotify song. So our first step is I'm gonna take the big, our big piece of acrylic. And then I, since I already did this, it's a little more difficult for me, but I'm gonna take the big square so this square of paper, I'm gonna take that, I'm just gonna place it onto the back of our acrylic. And then I'm gonna take my tape, and then I'm gonna outline the square. I'm not taping over the paper, I'm just taping around it. So I'm trying to get as close as I can to the square paper because we're taping this so we don't get mod podge all over the acrylic. So as you can see, I taped a square on our album art. So our next step is we're gonna take our album art off. We're gonna get our Mod Podge and our paintbrush. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my Mod Podge, just a little bit. We want it to be a little runny. So I add a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and just mix the water into the Mod Podge. We want it to be uniform. We want it to be thin too. So if you get a thin consistency like that, it should be good. So I can't really demonstrate this very well, but so we have our tape square down. We're gonna take our album art off. So the piece of paper, we're gonna take that off the acrylic we're gonna take our Mod Podge, we're gonna 
put Mod Podge onto the acrylic. We're gonna paint a thin layer of it. We want uniform strokes going horizontal. You can even go vertically. It does not matter. So once we have our Mod Podge onto the acrylic, we're gonna take our square uh, album art cover. We're gonna put it on top of the Mod Podge. And then it should stick because the Mod Podge is glue. So as you can see, this is what it would look like after we put the album art cover onto the Mod Podge. So once we have the Mod Podge on the acrylic and our album cover stuck to the acrylic, we're gonna take our paintbrush and paint over our album art cover again. So we're painting the back side of it now, making sure it's sealed. I'm just going every which direction, making sure the Mod Podge gets into the paper. So, I got the Mod Podge on the paper. So now, we're gonna wanna remove the tape while the Mod Podge is still wet. So we get it even lines. And just save the tape, just add, put it off to the side. Okay, so I removed all my tape. I just stuck it off to the side. And now we have our album cover, Mod Podge, to our large piece of acrylic. So what we can do now is we can take our Mod Podge cup, put the cover back on, take our paintbrush, just, we don't need that anymore. So now we're gonna take our pieces we've got cut up, and so what we're gonna want is we're gonna want our little, like our smaller Spotify code and this large play pause button with our song title or artist. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find where I want the Spotify code, which I'm gonna place it right underneath my album art I'm going to tape it down. I'm making sure it's centered. So I'm taping that down. And then right underneath, I'm going to place this one with the pause button right underneath my Spotify code. And I'm going to tape that down as well. So the back side of mine looks like that. It's all taped. And that's what the front looks like. You can see the Spotify and then the pause play button one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my acrylic pen, shake it up real good. And when we're working with a paint pen, we're gonna need to bleed it first. So I'm gonna take my instructions and then just pressing down until I see paint come out. So now I have paint coming out of my pen. That means it's all good and working. So I'm gonna start tracing. So I'm gonna trace the Spotify symbol. And then I'm gonna trace the code. And then once I got the code traced, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna trace the song title, the artist, how many seconds are left in the song, and then the pause play button.
So now that I have everything traced, I'm going to remove the tape from the back. So that's what mine looks like, all traced and done. Here's another, we have a couple other examples I could show you. So I'm just gonna let this one dry. Here's two other ones that we have done. They're all done. They look good. So now that we got the big one completed, we're gonna work on our keychain, so our smaller piece of acrylic. So in order to work on this one, we're gonna to have to first connect our O-ring. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take our mine off for a sec. I'm gonna take the O-ring and I'm going to separate one side. So I'm trying to show you the best on camera. Can you see how I got my finger between like one side of the metal. So once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to feed the smaller acrylic through the hole or through the O-ring. And now our O-ring should be attached. So that's how we're gonna to connect to the keychain. And another, another important step not to miss with the small one is we're gonna remove the film. So we have a plastic film on them. So we're gonna remove that, get that out of the way. And we're going to take our larger Spotify code and then the smaller pause play button. And we're going to tape it to the back side of this. So the way I did it was I put my Spotify code so I can read it when it's next to my keychain. But you can do it whatever way you'd like. And I added my song title because this, this little pause play button section doesn't include this song title or the artist it's by. So I'm gonna add that. So I'm gonna start tracing. I'm using my white acrylic marker again. So I got it all traced. So now I'm gonna remove my tape and that's what I've got. We have another, another example. It's done a little differently. So the O-rings down here uh, with the tassel and they didn't add the song title, which you can do whatever you'd like, whatever you think looks best. So now that we've got that done, We've got our keychain and our bigger Spotify song done. We should scan it to see if it works. So I'm gonna take out my phone. I'm gonna open my Spotify app. And then I'm gonna hit search and then hit the camera. Mine wasn't working earlier in here just because the lighting's bad in here. Oh, here we go. Got my song to pull up. So that's cool. So that works. And then, so now that we're done with our Spotify, I'm gonna set my directions off to the side and I'm gonna clean up my mess that I made. I'm just gonna put it off to the side for now. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the instructions for the DIY string art. And I'm gonna take my, my um, cork board, my baggie of string and pins. So I'm gonna go over the instructions real quick. 
So a very important thing we'd like to emphasize on is we're going to be using pen, pins, and the pins have sharp ends. So we just want to be very careful we don't prick ourselves. Um, what I like to do is I like to grab the pin at the top side, so where the pen head is. It's not sharp at all, and that's how I avoid pricking myself. It doesn't feel good, so we just want to avoid that. So for this craft, we should have our cork board, our transparent stencil paper, which mine is ripped because I already used it, but yours should be intact and it should look like that. We should have a paper ruler. We should have one paper printout of what we're going to be doing, so our two practices. We should have a pencil to help you push down the pins or to keep the string down. Um, our yarn in different colors. So we have a dark green, we have a light green, and we have a pink color. And scissors. So I have my scissors right here. So our first step is we're going to get our paper, we're going to lay it on our board flat. We're going to get our ruler and make sure we're all straight. So once we have that done, we're going to take our pins and we're going to poke holes. And so the paper already is marked where we should put the holes. So we're going to poke holes in the circles. So we're going to go to each little cir each individual circle and put pins in. So it should take a little. So once you get the pins in, our next step is going to be removing the paper. So in order to do that, we're going to want to lift the paper up. So we're going to lift it away from the cork board towards the pin heads. And we're just going to want to be very careful and work our way around. It should come off fairly easy. If a pin comes out with the paper, it's all right. You'll be able to see where the pin goes. So just keep the pins in a pile, the ones that get removed. So you're going to want to work your way around the cactus until the paper comes off. So I cut my paper in half so it's easier to remove. And then with the smaller one, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to want to lift the paper away from the cork board towards the pin heads. And then just carefully go along the cactus, lifting the paper away from the pins. So once we have that step done, we have our paper our transparent paper removed. We're going to take our dark green string and we're going to outline our cactus. So I've kind of started that. So we're going to go along outlining our cactus. So a very important step is, so we're going to go along each pin. So each pin we're going to go along. And when you go along a pin, you're going to want to do like a circle. So we're going to want to go around it. Hold it. Let me put it down. It's easier when you have it on a flat surface. So you want to go around each pin. So do a loop around each pin when you're going. And it's what makes it easier is if you use your pencil to hold down the string and you go around each pin like that and you move the pencil holding down the string as you go. It makes it easier, I found. And then another important step is tying it onto the first. So you're going to want to tie it onto the first pin that you go around. So in order to tie it, here's our end of the string. And I'm just using this as an example, but say this is the pin. I'm going to make a U shape, so or a V, it could be a V. And I'm going to create an under knot, a hand knot. So I'm going to pull it tight to the pin. And I'm going to double knot it. So I'm going to take the end, go back around. So it looks like that. So I see a circle. And I'll pull that tight. Oh, it fell off. until you get tight around the pin and you have a double knot so it will not or so it'll be secure and won't go anywhere. 
So once you get it, once you get a nice outline like I have here, we're gonna start filling out the body. So we're gonna do like a zigzag shape. That's what I'm working on. So I'll do a couple more zigzags with you. So again, I'm using my pencil to hold down this string. I don't know if I said this already, but the dark green string or yarn is for the bigger cactus. The lighter green string is for the smaller cactus. The pink is for the flower for the big cactus. And that, that should be good. And again, we're going to want to wrap the string around each pin. I know it's very time consuming, but it's an important step so the string doesn't slip later on. And then it will, if we don't do this step, the cactus will just fall apart eventually, which would be very unfortunate since we're taking a lot of time on this craft. So I got a couple more zigzags for the body. And we're gonna to wanna to do that throughout the whole cactus. So our end product should look like this. As you can see, the big cactus, we did zigzags throughout the whole body, up the arms, and then you can see the pink flower there on top. And then for the smaller cactus, we don't have enough yarn to do that. So we just outline the smaller cactus. And another important step is when you get to the end, we're gonna use that same knot we did before. So we're gonna take the end, use the end of my string right here. And then we're gonna act like this is the pin again. And we're gonna wrap it around. And we're gonna create a circle and we fed it through. And we're gonna tighten it around the pin or the pencil for now. And then we're gonna do the same knot again. So we're gonna double knot it so it won't go anywhere. So I got my string double knotted. And now we have the excess string. So what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off the excess. Here's my excess, there it is. We don't need that, so I'm gonna throw that away. And you might have to do that with the initial, like the starting tie that you did. You might have to cut off the excess, which is fine. Here, we don't want excess string. We want it to look nice and neat. So, the finished product should look like that. And the end of the board or the back side of the board is sticky. So you could stick it on a wall, you could put it on a picture frame or something. But the important thing is with since it's sticky, we're gonna wanna ask for adult supervision or anything like that. We're gonna to wanna to ask an adult for help or for permission if we can stick it on our wall or a picture frame or something like that. And I think that's gonna end our box for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope your crafts all turned out. <laughs>